our home, Earth. Can Proxima B survive the cosmic challenges and harbor life? Proxima B receives significantly higher amounts of high-energy radiation, such as X-rays and extreme UV radiation than Earth. These high-energy radiations can erode and escape gases and liquids from the planet's surface, making it crucial to determine if Proxima B can maintain its water and atmosphere over billions of years. The nearest known exoplanet to Earth, the planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, experiences some pretty nasty space weather from its parent star. But previous work on the space weather of Proxima relied on a lot of assumptions. The bad news is that new research has confirmed the grim picture. Astronomers are very interested in habitable zones around stars, because that's where life as we know it has the best chance of appearing. So it's no wonder that astronomers are incredibly interested in Proxima b, the name we give to our nearest known exoplanet. Unfortunately for any life that may call that planet home, they're going to have a rough time of it. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, with only a fraction of the mass of the Sun. Because of their small sizes, the nuclear fusion cores of red dwarf stars are much closer to their surfaces. This makes their surfaces much more chaotic than stars like the Sun, and that increased turbulence amplifies incredibly strong magnetic fields. In turn, those strong magnetic fields can launch extremely strong blasts of high-energy radiation and particles into the surrounding system. At far enough distances away from a star, this isn't a big deal. But because stars like Proxima Centauri aren't nearly as luminous as the Sun, their habitable zones are much closer. Close enough that habitable might be too generous of a word. The nearest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, hosts a small rocky world in the habitable zone of that star. The habitable zone is important because that's the region that astronomers believe where a planet can potentially host liquid water. Too close to a star, and the intense radiation will simply boil away any water. Too far from a star, and the planet won't receive enough warmth, and all of its water will just turn to ice. Scientists have been studying Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun and its two known planets, Proxima b and Proxima c. The light emission was detected when the exosolar system around Proxima b was not obstructed by the host star around the time of the new moon. The emission appears to be from PCO2, likely due to carbon dioxide ice in the exosolar system. Proxima b orbits very close to its small red dwarf star, so it will likely be tidally locked with a permanent night side. The light emissions were observed in wavelengths between 1.6 and 2.5 meters, a surprising discovery considering the planet's exoplanet system should have been at its greatest heat emission. Further observations with the James Webb Space Telescope unveiled water vapor, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and other substances swirling around Proxima b, potentially indicating the presence of an atmosphere conducive to life. With about 65% of Earth's sunlight, Proxima b's surface remains warm enough to prevent water from freezing into eternal ice. These findings indicate that the exosolar system is not completely dark and contains water vapor and carbon dioxide. Studying Proxima b presents several challenges due to its relatively small size and the bright glare of its parent star. It is difficult to image the exoplanet directly, and observations often rely on detecting its effects on the parent star's light or studying its atmosphere using spectroscopy. Through techniques such as the transit method and spectroscopy, Scientists have meticulously pieced together a portrait of this distant world. The transit method, employed by instruments like the Kepler Space Telescope, involves detecting the periodic dimming of a star's light as an exoplanet passes in front of it. Spectroscopy, on the other hand, dissects starlight passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere, unveiling the chemical composition that may hint at the presence of life. The Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array ALMA telescopes recent findings show that the light from this nearest star is being altered by natural sources like dust clouds, carbon dioxide, CO2 emissions from ice, sodium D lines from minerals, and hydrogen atoms from nitrogen oxides. This discovery gives us a fresh perspective on how advanced civilizations might use artificial lighting techniques on their planets to enhance visibility or hide certain locations from others. Have humans finally found a hint of life beyond Earth with our ongoing search for an Earth-like planet? Could the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery of city-like lights on Proxima b, a planet near our Sun, 
be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Is intelligent life reaching out from the shadows? We are going to explore those dimensions and the secrets of Proxima B in this video. Today, in our galaxy alone, billions of planets might be the potential for sustaining life. Proxima B, also known as Proxima Centauri, is a celestial gem in the Proxima Centauri system. It was first discovered in 2016 and has become one of the most studied exoplanets due to its proximity and potential for habitability. Astronomers have used advanced tools and observations to study Proxima B's history as a planet. They have calculated that the world currently receives 60 times more high energy radiation than Earth and up to 16 times higher since its formation. During the first 100 to 200 million years after its formation, Proxima B might have lost about one ocean's worth of water due to the early intense radiation. The fate of the water and atmosphere after this period remains under investigation. The idea of alien life on Proxima B has also sparked interest due to its proximity to its host star. With the vastness of the universe and countless stars and planets scattered across the cosmos, pinpointing the most likely locations for intelligent life becomes a complex puzzle. But why did recent discoveries propel Proxima b into the spotlight as a prime candidate in the search for life beyond Earth? Recent advancements in the study of technosignatures have heightened the prospects of detecting artificial light on Proxima b. Presently understood, this planet possesses a mass akin to Earth and resides within the habitable zone. Given its orbit around the closest star, the influx of new technologies, notably the Jasper Telescope, promises deeper insights into Proxima b. Notably, the JWST has set its sights on the Proxima b planet. Proxima b is a rocky exoplanet about 1.27 times the size of Earth, residing within the habitable zone of its parent star. And in class Red Dwarf and part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system, Proxima b is our closest neighboring star, only about 4.2 light years away. One reason could be the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone is a region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on planet's surface, potentially giving rise to life. Proxima b's proximity to its star presents unique challenges and opportunities for researchers. The exoplanet's orbit is just a fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun, completing a year in 11.2 days. This orbital results in tidal locking, with one side of Proxima b in perpetual daylight and another in eternal darkness. Exploring Proxima b and other distant planets has brought us closer to understanding. If we're the only life in the cosmos, the potential of finding alien life has ignited more curiosity and studies. Civilizations on other planets might prioritize the evolution of their lighting systems, potentially employing luminous orbital mirrors to cast sunlight onto their planet's daytime side, a spectacle our telescopes could capture. To truly understand how these telescopes could spot urban illumination on planets orbiting stars up to 30 parsecs away, one must delve into the data shared by Thomas Beattie from the University of Tuscan's Astronomy Department. This information was unveiled after the astronomers released their supportive findings. It's not just a wild thought. It's plausible that a highly developed civilization could cover its whole planet with a vast city. How noticeable would such a planet be? What are your thoughts about this vast exploration by humans? Put your thoughts into the comment section below. To stay updated, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. Don't forget to like and share the video. See you soon with such informative videos. Till then thank you for watching this video, until the end.